I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that is almost certainly my biggest ever UK trout. So we're back out, just done another after work session. IB's just finished work and there's nothing going on around the house. So we're going to sneak down to the river. We've got probably two and a half, three hours worth of line left. And the goal for this evening is to try and catch a fish on a dry fly. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even take any other rods, just dry fly rods. It's quite a warm, hot day. The sun is just hiding now, so it's quite cloudy. For those of you watching from outside of the UK, we had something very unusual happen for the last seven days or so. We actually <laughs> saw the sunshine for a sustained period. It's, in truth, it's been really bloody hot, but it's a bit more overcast now. It feels like good hatch conditions. Uh, we're gonna go and fish a piece of river that we've fished a few times before. Really, really nice little stretch of uh, a little stream in Derbyshire. And IB is gonna put on an absolute masterclass on how to catch trout off the surface. I absolutely will. I am a master on fishing on the dry fly now. Uh, famous last words. So right, I reckon what's about to happen is that we're going to sign off for a little bit and there's going to be a very funky looking montage of us driving along some country roads to some house music. Let's do it. Let's house do music, it. go! enough house music for you guys at the moment so we're down by the river uh, if we look super short it's not because we are because we're, we're not we're not we're not super short that's a fact uh, it's, it's super windy we weren't expecting that it's really windy so we're just kind of crouching down to get out of the wind plus it looks really pretty with this stuff and this stuff and this one here <laughs> <With> my nose <laughs> particularly the nose what noise does your nose make it doesn't make any noise. That's what I thought. Anyway, so yeah, we're down by the river. It's a little bit more windy than we expected down the valley, but that's okay. The problem is, uh, as you can see from the sky above us here, uh, there's no birds working. There's not much of a hatch happening at the moment, and it's a little bit quiet, which is an issue because we've only bought... Dry fly rods. We've only bought dry fly rods, and with nothing rising, it's looking a little bit difficult at the moment. But we're not losing faith, are we? It's going to happen. No, super positive, and like we always say, better than being in the office or sat at home. Absolutely, so yes. At least we're outside. Let's do it. Boom! Right, so we're about 10 minutes on from when we spoke to you last on the bank and it's just started to happen a little bit. Uh, a few flies in the air, we've seen a few fish rise as well, which bodes well for the rest of the evening, including a couple of fish just above us here in a really weird tail out position. We've been fishing this river a long time, I've never seen fish there before, so it'd be really cool to put a, fish, uh, to put a fly over them and see if we can catch one of them, so let's give it a crack. So you've seen there me catching the tiniest little brown trout on a little gnat. Um, it was a trout, yeah. You ever thought it was a minnow? But it definitely was a brown trout. You've seen that on the GoPro footage. So what that means <laughs> is that Yeva gets to do the trout dance in the background and she also gets next strike. And I imagine that the next fish you see on this video is gonna be a little bit bigger than that one, maybe.
had to actually rise the fish, hook the fish, land the fish. <laughs> Jesus, I made it look hard. It's a beautiful wild brownie as well. Aww. <laughs> Finally, finally, finally. And you're now. So, pretty much mission accomplished on that one. Uh, we both had a trout. I reckon Yevers might have been a little bit bigger than mine. What do you think? It was that big. That's a fisherman's tail if I've ever heard it. So we're going to move on to a different pool and bigger fish. Maybe we'll come back to this one at last light and try and catch one of those real big ones from the top. What do you reckon? I think my fish was that big. That's all I think. <laughs> we'll try and find one that's that big for you. Stay Keep tuned. Watching. Yeah, this isn't the time of day for a fly change, but these fish seem to have clocked on to upwinged insects rather than like that one. Like that one. They're really splashy rises. Now when you get splashy Ooh, rises like three that. Three fish in one go. Wow. When you get splashy rises like that, it's usually a pretty good indicator that they're taking stuff on the surface rather than in the surface. So my little spent spinner pattern that was dead drifting along nicely in the film, they were just ignoring that whereas this thing, it's the same fly actually that you ever caught her nice brown trout on earlier. So we'll see if this entices them up because we're running out of light and time at the moment. Again. I tried my hardest to make all that look difficult, but finally, in amongst a, a pool of pool of fish, absolutely smashing duns off the top, I've managed to hook one of them. I think part of the issue was this. Wow! Whoa! 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 Yeah, in amongst in, a, line in amongst a wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going back to Ashbourne itself. <laughs> in amongst a pool of rising trout, I've managed to hook the only bonefish. Now, obviously, I really don't want this fish this far away. The, the further away he gets from me, the more likely I am to lose it, so keep cranked down on this guy, I think. Ah, that's a solid fish, whatever it is. I haven't even seen it yet. That's £10 grailing, isn't it? <laughs> it's Yeva's mystery £10 grailing, always going for those trees. Oof, big head shakes. If he gets in those trees, we're in real trouble. This is... Um, this is a good fish. I'm really not sure what it is. And it stayed low, which makes me think possibly a brownie. But he's, um, he's definitely headed in the direction of those trees. He knows exactly where to go. Obviously, on the opposite side of the pool, there's really nothing for 50, 60 yards, whereas on this side, he's got all the tree roots to aim at. We're getting back line back on him slowly now, but I don't think he's finished. I think there's another run in this fish yet. Trying to be as relaxed as possible, but my heart is absolutely pounding at the moment. This is a serious fish. Just plodding around. And now he's decided to go downstream a little bit. Don't really want that. I'd rather he stayed above me. See you guys in a bit.
It's all going on. Running after the fish and losing my net. No, 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 no. Go on, go on, go on, get him. Ah. Kept him on the surface for a little while now, he is tiring. It's a huge fish. I think I think that's wild. <gasps> I don't even know what to say. That is almost certainly my biggest ever UK trout. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's huge. An absolutely huge fish. Don't drop it. I've seriously tried almost. Oh god. Oh no. Size 16 oh dry god. fly. Oh my goodness. That's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe it. It's huge. Look at the belly, how yellow that is. Oh, it's an absolute stunner. Oh my god, just look at that. Look at that. Oh, when it came down the chute, I thought that was it. I thought, oh, this fish is gone. And I hadn't seen it at that point. I just thought it was a really big fish. I didn't think it was that. <laughs> I can't, I just don't know what to say. I, I actually feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> me too. I don't too. know what I'm going to say. Only me too. I can't believe it. Goodness. Well done, babe. That's enormous. Get in. <laughs> so we've rested him for a couple of minutes. Um, I've had to compose myself a little bit because I've an absolute bloodroom wreck at the moment. Uh, I've been fishing this river for a long, long time. This is where I learned to fly fish. My dad taught me to cast a fly here nearly 30 years ago. And um, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught from this river and probably the biggest fish I'll ever catch from it. I've never... You hear stories of these really, really big wild dove fish, but to see one in the flesh like this is just unimaginable. It is huge and it's so beautiful. I'm really keen on making sure he's rested. We've actually, I've brought him back above the race that he shot down. I want to make sure he goes back to the pool that he's familiar with. This fish has clearly lived in there for most of his life quite happily. So I'm quite keen that he goes back upstream and carries on doing what he's doing. Oh, it's, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the belly just goes flat oh, on your hands. So heavy. And we'll give him as long as he needs. If he wants an hour sat here recovering, we'll be here for an hour. I want to make sure this guy's in perfect nick. Oxygen around his gills has just kicked a little bit. Come on, you're going to have to kick harder than that. <laughs> well done, babe. That's a special one. That's the size that I showed. What fish are we going to catch? <laughs> yeah, we did say we were going to catch one that big. 
I hope that made as good viewing as it was to actually play it because that was probably the most terrifying 10 minutes of my entire life. There were so many times I thought I was going to lose that fish and so many times I thought it was gone and running after it. And... Come here, I just want to hunt now. <laughs> oh. Are you well done? Well done, baby. So, <laughs> what happened down there? I, I can't believe what's just happened. I really can't. I mean, it's staggering. It really is. Like I said, I've been fishing this river a long, long time. And, you know, there are, there are some really big fish in it, but they're very, very few and far between. And you certainly don't see them rise very often. You know, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was a big fish from the rise. You know, it moved a lot of water, but you don't expect one of those. That's, you know, fish has taken me 25 years to catch. To be able to share with that, I'd be. It's really, really special. <laughs> We're really so special. close. I will tell you what, as soon as I saw the fish, and I was like, oh <laughs> my God, oh my God. It, it was the size of the pike that I'm catching. <sighs> and it was unbelievable. And then after that moment, I think I had everything crossed. I was like, just please, London, London. I think I'm pretty sure I was shouting, just net it, just net it's it. It's one, one, of, one of those terrifying <laughs> moments where all of a sudden you're saying to yourself, have I tied the knot right? Was the hook strong enough? Uh, is the leader strong enough? You know, just to put that into perspective, that was vicious on seven. It was so deeply hooked as well. So yeah, it you was. Could have cut the line. I was. It had hooked. really sharp teeth. It had proper minnow muncher's teeth. I, I'm astonished that at some point during that fight, he hasn't bitten me off. By some, by some kind of miracle, this time it wasn't game over, and I'm massively, massively grateful for that. I'd, Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope, I really hope that was as enjoyable for you as it was terrifying for me. if you don't subscribe to our channel, you're never going to catch the fish. <laughs> yeah, if, <laughs> if you want to catch the biggest brown trout you've ever seen in your life, then this channel is not going to guarantee it, but it might be a good place to start. Thank you for watching. I beam. I will see you at another time to have some fun and some fishing. And I did say we're going to catch a big fish of that size. I be so. called it, so hopefully next time we're going to catch one. Even bigger. Even bigger. <laughs> Keep rise pill. Give it 25 years. We might catch a bigger fish. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. Subscribe, like and share. Do all that stuff. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.